Can't lose it. He's a hard worker. Does what he's told. What more could a girl want? Do you know something? I think Luke could be very overrated. The sun's in the sky. It's a trip from the headings to the beach. And that, my friend, is what is known as a chance going begging. We should be out there, catching it in with the cornets, making a pack. Mr. Ross won't be too happy. We're losing. What a waste. Okay. 
supposed to be going to school. Why? Is there any news? I'm still waiting. There is one thing I should tell you. Mrs. Mount and I have agreed that the baby will be adopted. He, he didn't have scores. You're a bright lad. You want to go to university. You shouldn't throw all that away. Or would you really want to be stuck in Elsie for changing nappies? The same is true for Denise. She won't want that any more than you. We haven't even talked about it. I'm sorry, there's no alternative. We could get married. We have to, don't we? What's happening? We need to take Denise to the village for a general anesthetic. To give her a forceps delivery. Try not to worry. I'm sure she'll be alright. Oh, Mr. Freeman, I just wanted a quick word with you and my wife. Now, don't worry, as Mr. Roach said, she came through the operation when I am slightly concerned about her. She's seeing a psychiatric consultant. Why would you? I was just from her behavior. And also, please. This is a very high dose of value. She's on, I assume. Uh, you assume wrong. Right. So, you prescribe it, I should talk to her. <laughs> There's no need. I clearly there is. Whatever treatment she's been receiving isn't working. Dr. Ellis, I'm not used to being cross examined by junior colleagues. If Alan needs to see a specialist, I'll arrange it myself. Straight jacket. Like your mother. 